Hey guys, today we're making some pizza dough and I want to talk about two of the most popular dough containers on Amazon. Now, if you're just starting making pizzas, chances are you're going to be using cereal bowls or Pyrex glassware with the lid on it, or like I used to do, use Chinese takeout containers that are circle with the lids on it, uh, or even deli containers that they put soups in. There are a lot of options out there to store your dough, but here are two of the more popular ones on Amazon. This setup is the Doughmate Artisan Dough Tray Kit, which comes with two boxes, a lid, and a scraper. And then we also have the Baba Dough uh, Silicone Dough Kit, uh, dough boxes that are very popular as well. Let's go through the features on both. First and foremost, I want to show you that these stackable containers fit in the fridge, any standard fridge. I actually have the counter depth fridge and it fits right in there, no problem. So it's a little bit smaller and it fits. But if you want a little bit more portability and ease of use, these obviously fit much more easily in your fridge. Um, the nice thing about the Dome containers is it will fit six 300 gram balls, right? To give you an idea, 300 grams is right around a 14 inch pizza. 250 grams gets you about a 12 inch pizza, but you can fit comfortably six dough balls of that size in there. These containers will hold a little bit larger. I have actually in here a, a little bit more aged dough ball that was 400 grams, okay? And I would think that's about the practical limit because this did kind of lift up the lid as it was proofing and, um, but 400 grams is good. Now, if you needed to do 400 gram dough balls in the dough meat, you would probably be down to about only fitting four in this, unless you didn't mind them pressing together. Let's talk about being airtight. Now, I've never once had a problem with air getting in and then my dough being crusty here uh, in these containers. The Baba doughs are also airtight, but the design of the lid, it sort of, it rests a little uneven or, and if something brushes against it, the lid sort of pops out. So you'll want to be careful if you're using these containers, which are very good. The silicone design is, I guess, supposed to be, to, to be able to, so you can kind of get the dough out a little easier. I didn't find it all that easy to get out, but let's demonstrate how that would work, okay? Some folks like to, you know, sort of shake it out. I find that misshapes the dough. So what I like to do is sort of peel back gently and lightly, right? So that it's away from the sides and you have to use a little bit of oil in these to get it out. And there you go. That's how you easily get it out of there. Just make sure you peel it away from the edge. All I did was take my hands and roll it back. Okay. And from there you do have a perfectly circular dough. So that is the advantage of this particular setup. And now for this setup, after this proofs, you're going to find that the dough starts touching. That's uh, some people uh, get a little iffy about that. And what you want to do once that happens is you have this spatula, you simply separate the dough and then you go underneath it pick it up and it's out. Now that's how I used to do it in the pizzeria. So I'm very accustomed to that and very comfortable with that. Some people have a little bit of trouble getting it under and getting it out and keeping it round. So using a little semolina or flour on top to make sure it doesn't stick as you're sliding through is helpful. But this is a much more commercial approach and is better for you if you're making a lot more pizza. Okay, I make a ton of pizza, so this is the set for me. But if you're gonna make one or two pizzas every couple of weeks, you uh, might look more into something like this if you don't wanna take up your whole fridge because this is really, you're investing an entire shelf in your fridge and these can conceivably fit right in the door of your fridge. So big difference in size. I find these very functional for other reasons, other things such as when we make Christmas cookies, we store them in here. You can marinate meats. You could do use them just as you would any other Tupperware, but 
huge capacity in these and much more versatile. You can do bigger doughs in here. You're only going, you're just going to lessen the number of doughs you can do. And then I found, I'm not sure what they're listed at, but I found 400 grams is the practical, <clears throat> the practical capacity of these Baba dough large containers. So whether you go with the Baba dough or with the dough mate, both work great. You things you want to consider is how many pizzas are you making? How much do you want to spend? and how much storage space do you practically have in your refrigerator? They're both investments, but these are both built to last. The silicone is really hard to beat up, and these things are commercial. They're like tanks. You, you just can't do anything to them. These are built to last a lifetime in a commercial environment. So both great solutions. It's up to you as to what solution you choose and what your needs are.